What's up, everybody? I am so excited. The day has arrived. I finally can bring you this G.I. Joe Classified review. I've had this figure for almost two weeks now, and I am excited to finally say we are going to review today the great Serpentor with Air Chariot. Let's talk about it. Yeah, I've been sitting on this guy for, like I said, about two weeks now, and I haven't even had an opportunity to open it yet. So, uh, especially with getting all these other G.I. Joe figures in this week, you know, we've, we got the Python Patrol, we got the Dr. Mindbender, and now finally I'm able to open this Serpentor, and I have been excited since they sh announced it, since they showed it at San Diego Comic-Con. I'm sure you're excited as I am, so I'm going to shut up. We're going to unbox this guy, and we're going to check it out. Wow, just look at this packaging. It is amazing. Uh, obviously, comes in this oversized deluxe box because we do have the figure and vehicle inside this box. But yeah, like the Dr. Mindbender, if you're able to watch that video or you have it yourself, comes with this cool slip cover on it, uh, the Cobra DNA uh, logo on the box, similar to Dr. Mindbender's. And the artwork is just amazing. I love whoever's doing this artwork is similar to the Dr. Mindbender's. I love it. This is my preferred artist if it's the same person, which I believe it, it is. So of course we've got it. It is number 57 and I'm running out of space on my table because this box is so darn big. So I'll scoot back as far as I can. And I didn't cover it in the Mindbender video. I just realized that, but here's the logos for Serpentor. Uh, I'm assuming this is military strategy, five star, uh, sharp knife weapons, you know, all the way up. Uh, weights, meaning he's probably a heavy hitter, is all the way up. And then finally, we've got, I uh, can't really tell what that one is. Maybe strategy? Maybe it's that one's strategy because it's a chess piece. But yeah, so that's number 57 in the series. And this artwork on the back is amazing. I love it. Uh, setting on top the Lincoln Memorial, uh, gripping fist, got him over here, cutting his own arm with a hot blade, it looks like, uh, leading his troops into battle, and of course, giving it to our old friend Cobra Commander. So, yeah, this is this is going to be awesome. So, let me uh, get a minute to get this. Actually, you know what? I think they have the slipcover already. Oh, nope, it is sealed up here. So can't really see it but it is sealed right there let me see if i can just get it off so we can see what it actually looks like real quick maybe there we go oh golly is it taped somewhere else too oh it's taped down here as well so there we go now let's see what we got going on here there we go. So take the slip cover, set it off to the side, spin this guy back around. So this is just like the mind bender where it opens up. And wow, look at that. Look at that. I do not have enough room, so I'll have to slide it over. There's his accessories for the figure. Obviously, the chariot's probably back behind this. And of course, we've got more accessories over here. Um, and that, that figure, though, look at him sitting on that table. I mentioned it in the Mindbender video that you could actually use his box to have Serpentor in, but you could also use this one. It's actually got the, the lab table look to it. So, okay, give me a few minutes to get this unpacked, and I'll talk to you here in a moment. Wow, this figure is phenomenal, and it's huge. So, before, let me take a step back. Wow. Wow. This figure is amazing. I know I'm repeating myself, but this this is hands down classified best figure made so far, if I do say so myself. I mean, I wow. I thought I thought the Sergeant Slaughter was awesome. If he's the best Joe of 2022, this guy's the best Cobra. I mean, he is a hefty figure. And I mean, this is this is Serpentor. So, try to contain myself, because this is awesome. I mean, Cobra Commander is my favorite bad guy, but 
this figure knocks the pants off any Cobra Commander we've gotten this year, or since Classified started, rather. Wow. So, he comes with a lot of things. I haven't even gotten it all out yet, but I think I've got most of the accessories. I do have this bag I haven't opened yet, so I'm going to open it right now. This might be Air Chariot pieces. It might be Serpentor pieces. I'm not sure. So, whatever it is, we're going to set it off to the side here for a moment. It is... It is all sorts of stuff. That's great. So, what we have is our base figure of Serpentor. He is huge, like I mentioned. He's got the same articulation, though, but very, very tight joints I'm noticing already. He does not want to move. Like, wrists are twisting fine, but these arms... Ooh, okay, that's a tight, tight elbow joint. Wow, that is tight. Um, bicep cut is working just fine. Oof, this arm is not wanting to move. Oof, moment of truth, people. Oh, sweet. It bent at the top, did not bend at the other point of the elbow. Oh, I'm going to be careful with him. Going to be careful with him. So, of course, we have the, the uh, headdress that Serpentor is all known for, wearing his uh, snake-skinned cape. This is a cloth cape with a little bit of stretchiness to it. It's very nice. This cape is not going to tear on you. They've even made sure that if you take it off, it is sewn around the arm, so it should come off fairly easy. Uh, look at the detail on these cobra heads. Look at that. Man. So, you got your basic figure. He's got his rocker ankles, and I'm not going to go through all that. He does have, you know... Wist art, wist, ooh, waist articulation. He can hunch forward and back. But yeah, this is a whole new buck. 100% new figure here. Nothing reused. And I, to be honest, I don't know how they're going to reuse him again. I mentioned it in my Mindbender video. Maybe they'll give us another Serpentor that's just on a retro card that doesn't come with the Air Chariot, which by the way, that thing's huge. We'll get to that in a minute, but... This guy's solid. Now, he comes with all sorts of accessories. Um, <clears throat> he comes with a coiled up uh, Cobra, which is awesome. It's not, it can't really do anything. It's just meant for sitting there, but that's awesome. He comes with a staff, which I have to put this way on the screen so you can see it all at once. Solid uh, design. It's got the Cobra head at the top. Very long, and then on the bottom, this red jewel. And I mean, this is almost as tall as the figure. This actually might be as tall as some of the regular Joes. We've got... I'm trying to figure out what to get first. He's got two different claw accessories. This is the extended claw. And this is the smaller version of the claw. And I will show you. It's simply a peg that can fit into his arm. So, it's just right there's the peg hole and you just snap it right in. And boom. You've got his 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 predator-ish claw. <laughs> and it's cool cuz you can put that one on or you can take it off and you can put which I will probably leave the short one on. Uh, but who knows? But yeah, the short one looks very good as well. And so, yeah, you've got the claw that can go onto his arm. So we'll leave that there. You have his sword, which is awesome. Very cool. Also has a cobra for the hilt and that red jewel again, that theme sticking with it. Very good. And <clears throat> what a lot of people have been enjoying seeing when it was first shown is the, the straightened out cobra or the serpent that he can use to stab Duke like he did in the 87 movie. I mean, this is this is a fun little accessory. It, it's it's bendable, but it, it stays pretty much like that. You can see that's that cobra head. It's really cool. And then finally, should you want to go with a more classic Serpentor, he comes with a classic backed uh, hood 
for the snake and then a separate uh, headpiece. So what do I mean? You can take this figure and you can pop off what he is currently wearing and switch it out. Looks kind of funny like that. Might be difficult for me to do this without taking off the cape. So we'll try taking off the cape because I said that it's sewn and you should be able to do this. So I should probably put my money where my mouth is and take it off. So yeah, so it's simple. The cape comes off and you can take off this piece in some way. There you go. So you will have this serpentor. There is the, the more modern headdress. And then you can snap on the old one. And what did I do with this headpiece? Oh, there it is. Of course, you can put on the, the older one. And now you have a more classic Serpentor. Now, setting it back a little bit so you can see it. I don't know. I think I'm more of a fan of the of the modern one. It kind of just goes out a little more and, you know, it's nice that you get options. But I think we're going to switch it back and give me a few minutes. I'm going to get him put back together and then we're going to move on to the air chariot. Okay, so I decided I would just take you guys through putting the air chariot together. And this thing's, like I said, it's huge. I mean, obviously I've got a whole Serpentor, so it's a huge thing. But the first thing you might immediately notice is there's there's decals, uh, decals are all over it. Um, you don't have to worry about putting any stickers on. That said, it is very cool because it comes with a blueprint. And we are basically going to follow this and put it all together really quick. So, first things first, we're going to snap the cobra head onto the chariot. And as you can see, it's got a rolling joint so we just snap it down in there and it should be about as simple as that wow that was that actually went in really nice didn't so much snap it just kind of went in and of course it's got a hinged mouth so that's super cool and i think i didn't know if i think you might be able to stick something in it we'll find out but yeah so there is the first part we've basically done steps number one number two is to put the uh, control stick in place and that is as simple as you know putting it in the correct way which is actually uh, these facing inward and popping this down and did I get it in there I think there we go so now you've got the back of it and of course you've got all these dials and stuff and it's really cool so We've got that on there. The next step is to attach the fins, which we have two of these, two fins. I mean, this is just a scaled up version of the chariot you owned as a child, or if you didn't own it, you had a friend that did. This thing was easy to get. Uh, I got my uh, Serpentor with Air Chariot. Did I have him with the, I, I know I got him from one of the catalogs. I didn't find him in the stores. So I don't actually remember if I had the chariot. That's a, that's bad that I can't remember that. Um, anyway, back on track. So these just peg in down here. You can see the, the area they peg into. Or actually, you know what? I'm wrong. They, put, they peg in up here. So one and two. I mean, this is paint by number stuff right here. So those are pegged in, and then we flip over to the back, and it's going to teach us how to assemble the guns that go on. So it comes in three pieces. I will right, we'll pull those three pieces out. We've got this long piece for the barrel, and that plugs in like this. No, I'm an idiot. It plugs in like this. There we go. And then you simply plug in the... clip or the bandolier I should say there we go and then this plugs in like so 
and there we go. Rinse and repeat on the other side. I'm gonna do it off screen, you've already seen it. But exact same thing, we're gonna plug it in the bandolier, we're gonna plug in the front of the turret, and then we're going to push this down and Ooh, that one's being a little more persnickety. And there we go. It's not down all the way. But man, that is. So there we go. That's that's it. Five steps. We've put it together. The air chariot is there. Let's set Serpentor, <clears throat> excuse me, on top of it. You can see we've got the, the peg holes for the feet right here. And one leg in. Doesn't help if you don't do both of them. I think I'm going to have to take this one off camera. Bear with me, folks. I, I want to make sure I get him on there. And I just don't have enough room to work on this table. I need to need a new layout to be honest but I am putting his heels on there it's always hard with these rocker ankles because the ankles just want to rock before you get him on there and of course bear with me Serpentor on his air chariot and of course you can take him and Bend his arms how you need to to get a grip that you like on that control handle. And of course, this guy's no fool. He doesn't use two hands. He's an emperor. But yeah, that's that's pretty solid. Awesome. I uh, wow, this is this thing's so massive. I cannot get it to all fit on the screen at once. So let me tilt it back down so you can kind of see it. It's about the best I can give you right now. Okay, so let me, you've seen this, let me bring in another one just so we can do some size comparisons, scale comparisons real quick, and then uh, we'll give our final thoughts. Hey folks, I'm back real quick, jumping in before we get to the size comparison. This mouth has a gun and fangs in it, and I am trying to get it out. The gun, I've actually flipped down and you can kind of see it on the bottom of the mouth right now and there are fangs up in there and I am trying to get it out so I will work on that and if I get it done we'll do it in the final thoughts okay so I'm back and I put Serpentor's sword in his hand now I will say one thing I'm kind of surprised that we didn't get and I'm assuming the sword is in lieu of we don't have his knife now the original figure came with a little tiny knife with a little tiny hilt and I'm just surprised we didn't get that with this figure. I mean, they, they threw in the old school cowl. So I just kind of thought that we would maybe get that knife. But you know what? I've, I, I checked this guy out. There's nothing inside of it. There's nothing inside the box that I can find. So I'm assuming he just they gave him a sword and said, which is fine. That's Serpentor style sword. But I wanted to kind of do some quick final thoughts, do a size comparison so you can see how massive this huge, how massively huge this figure is. So standard G.I. Joe buck. Standard G.I. Joe doesn't get much more standard than Snake Eyes, right? I mean, that's... He is huge compared to Snake Eyes. I know Snake Eyes is everybody's favorite Ninja Commando. I'll try to straighten him up a little bit, but... Serpentor towers over him. I mean, just massive. If you're going to be a Cobra Emperor, you're going to be a big guy. So, there's Snake Eyes. And, of course... A larger G.I. Joe, none other than the Sarge himself. And even then, Serpentor is taller than him. It's, uh, he's huge. I'm going to push his hand down a little bit so you can see. Maybe if I put him back to back, that'd be it. So Sarge, Serpentor is leaning forward a little bit. I'll straighten the Sarge up. Puff his chest out a little bit. Even with a puffed out chest... Serpentor's taller than him by a fair bit. I mean, as he should be. Don't get me wrong. Again, he, he should be much taller than the Sarge. He's Serpentor. 
Imagine if they make like a nemesis enforcer one day who is even supposed to be bigger than Serpentor. That guy's going to be like this tall. He's going to be insane. But yeah, so there's a quick size comparison. And man, that's, that's really cool. Get Sarge out of the way here. So I, I mentioned that as I was, I was messing around, uh, the chariot has teeth <laughs> and a gun in its mouth. And it's hard to get the gun operating correctly. It's in there and it's really hard to tell. Here, let me... If you can bear with me, I've got an extra light I can put on this. So I apologize for getting in the way. Sometimes I use this light, sometimes I don't. And there you go, you can see it better now. And you can you can move it around. And I had to use Serpentor's, uh, I had to use the end of that sword to flip these fangs down. And it's not even listed on the uh, blueprints that they come down, so I didn't realize it until I was just kind of mucking around with it. And again, there's that, that gun, and there's no way that I can figure out, like, to control it. There's no like, you're just getting in here and flipping it down. But anyway, so I wanted to show that off. Uh, let me turn off this light, get this out of the way. But yeah, this is folks, if you haven't picked up this uh, set yet, this is figure of the year right here, classified figure of the year. You know, I'll go so much as say Hasbro figure of the year. Uh, drop me a comment. Let, let's, let's just take this to like a vote. Is this figure of the year? Can any Hasbro product beat what we're seeing right here in terms of just everything you see, the design, what you get for your money? I think this is like an $80, $90 price point. Let's talk about it in the comments. And if you've made it this far, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe because I've always got new videos coming, especially around G.I. Joe. But yeah, sound off in the comments below. Look forward to talking to you and we will see you next time.